Hello everyone, welcome to the next part of Mossdale High. I'm sorry, this one came out a bit late. I shouldn't have said I was aiming for Fridays because I feel bad some of you guys would have been checking on Fridays, so I do apologize. We are up to the next part of Mossdale and I thought we'd play a different household this time. A lot of you guys have been requesting to play K James. Before we get into it, just a reminder, Deligracy crew neck motherload tops have been restocked. So check out deligracy.shop if you wanna get one. Well, welcome to uh, Kay James's house. This is such a cute family home. I actually got it from the gallery and then edited it slightly. I wonder if I can still find it. I think it's this one by No Mad Ashby. So shout out to them. I just edited it slightly to kind of suit K James's family. But anyway, K James's dad, Chester's just gone to work. Their mom, London's, oh, at Kay's uh, computer. And how cool is this? They turned the garage into a space for Kay. And then Kay's older brother, Sean, uh, I always thought he was like a little strange, maybe a little shady. I don't know. I just get that vibe from him. And then London's a very supportive mother who looks like She's been to the thrift store because she did not wear this originally. Anyway, uh, let's say hello to mom. Give her a hug. I feel like Kay would be really close with their mom. Uh, and Kay wants to be an admired icon. So we're actually at level two of this aspiration. So we need to list five outfits on Trendy and then earn gold on a hosted party. So I'm thinking maybe the parents are gonna go away for their anniversary to Selva Dorado or something, and Kay and their brother are gonna look after the house. So his mom's gonna be like, I hope you kids have a good time or we're away. Now remember to call me if you need anything. Uh, and we'll leave when dad gets back from work. Amazing. Also, I'm not really sure what these outfits are. Wait, let me try these on. I have no idea what I have right here. And there's also a goth outfit. Oh, okay, kind of love this. That actually does look really good. Oh, that's really cool too. I think I did make these outfits off camera. Well, let's uh, sell this on Trendy. Take a selfie, love it. And let's call it, oh, Enterprise. I thought I had to name it. A uh, similar fit to selling for 135. Well, let's sell it for 500. Let's see if it sells. So that's the mash core. Let's try and sell this one as well. Sell outfit on trendy. Let's sell this for a thousand simoleons. The goth look. And we'll notice other sims will start wearing it around town, which I love. So wait, if I want to hype it though, I can't wear it to hype it. So now I'm confused. Oh well. Kay James is also a nano simfluencer, so we do need to post a review. Whoa, this screen is see-through? Whoa, okay. I didn't know that was a thing. Is that a thing? Does that exist in real life? Ooh, advertise simfluencer hustle online, okay. How do I do a review though? Well, anyway, this will contribute to our entrepreneurial skill um, by progressing our side hustles and doing odd jobs. Oh. Okay, that's a that's a cheat that we're not gonna use. So the entrepreneur skill will be increased by us doing odd jobs and doing our side hustles. So we love that. And then Chester's at work as a serious musician. So Chester will be home quite late. Oh, we should totally send a message to Daniel. Okay, so interestingly, Kay and Daniel are not actually that close they don't eat, they don't really know each other that well because they don't hang out publicly or at school or anything but they both have a crush on each other so it's a little bit of a secret you know little secret relationship we got here this is the easiest way to get your relationship up with sims let's post about our new outfit energize narrative feel free to stop and stare i'm looking fresh to death i feel like Kay would actually say that Oh, I remember now. You've just got to click on like artsy objects and you can make a lifestyle review. So we'll do that real quick. Oh my gosh, Jeffrey Landgrab would like to purchase Goth on Trendy. Are you serious? This is the $1,000 one. Ooh, we leveled up in entrepreneur skills. Ship to buyer, whoa. Jeffrey, I mean, it makes sense. Jeffrey's got money. Jeffrey's got that money, honey. Okay. Well, we are so busy. Kay James is gonna be like an amazing fashion designer or something. Oh, hello, Dominique. Welcome. 
Okay, so we've just posted that. I really wish there was a way to keep track of like your teens' funds when they have a part-time job. Wouldn't that be fun? So it hasn't said that we posted our review either. Oh, okay, so now we can upload our review from here. It's a little confusing, I've gotta say. I love this garage space though. I think it's so cool. Kay's parents would be so supportive of them. Yay, oh my gosh, we got four. Oh, I thought that was for us. No, our dad made 468 smellings, but we sold one outfit to a land grab for $1,000. Kay James is not silly. And we've posted our review, awesome. Well, I reckon we'll get the parents to go off on their little anniversary trip and then maybe Thursday night we have a massive party. So we're just gonna take our beautiful wife, London. And you know, I'm sure Kay and their brother is just like, you know, we're gonna have a few friends over and the parents are like, all right, as long as it doesn't get out of control, we don't mind. And they're gonna go to Tartosa, the two of them, and they're gonna have a beautiful time there. <sighs> Love that place. Not available. 964 simoleons. Okay, this is too expensive. They're gonna go camping. That's more like it. <laughs> For two days. $468 to go camping. Well, I guess it's in a cabin, so it was just really hot. Well, it's okay, doll. We're gonna go inside and have a good time for our anniversary. Okay, so for the party, what should we get? Oh, man, I really dislike that storm scared emotion they get because it makes me scared when that sound goes off. Okay, I feel like we need a juice keg. What flavor do we want? Mm, I feel like I feel like pineapple would be icky. Let's do raspberry. I feel like we need to like, you know when you have a party, you rearrange the furniture. Yeah, that way I think this will fit in the lounge room. The coffee table up here. Also, K James has a really cool bedroom. They're just cool. They're just such a cool sim. And we need music. Maybe their parents have this boom box from like the 80s or something. <laughs> okay, and then the other thing I thought we could do is I remember for my sister's parties in school she would put cellophane over the lights to like change the color of them so we should definitely do that then this will be all ready for tomorrow night love it that looks great and then we'll order heaps of pizza oh tane and kaden just became good friends oh bless oh my gosh chester did this painting oh chester's chester's too cute kaden likes cooking sure we love cooking. Also, that fire's making me nervous. I'm gonna turn it off. Oh, we can have a harvest fest party. That's awesome. Love it. Harvest fest party. Let's do it. Wait, does that mean we don't have school today? No, I want to go to school. Oh, it's Korea day. Okay, okay, We're, it's okay. Uh oh. Okay, the gnome hates us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, gnome. Oh god. Okay. All right. The gnome just electrocuted us. That's great. Is it just the one gnome this time? Do we get to have any other gnome friends? Oh, there's another one in here. I feel like they always like coffee. You can't go wrong with giving them coffee. See, they love the coffee, always. My face is a mess. I can't go anywhere looking like this. What can I do? Aww. Sean advised Kaden. Wait, I don't know what advice Sean gave us, but we feel better. Why do we have like a pimple or something? We're experiencing puberty. Oh no, do we have acne today? We don't have any acne. What are you worried about, K James? I guess K James might want to make a move on Daniel tonight, and then obviously you don't want to have a breakout, so maybe that's a problem. Maybe, okay, let's just go to school. Well, we can't go to school with you? That's so sad. I guess because it's Harvest Fest. Dang it. Oh well, we can still plan a party anyway when we, when we get home. So while Kaden is at school, we have to talk about the drama from last episode. So it was kind of wild because Amisha, Selena's mom, died because I messed up a cheat. And it turned out in the comments, it wasn't really obvious that you guys either wanted her to die or not to die. It was kind of a mixed bag. So I thought we would go halfway made in the middle, and Amisha had a near-death experience. So I've actually put her back into Selena's household. So that'll probably affect Selena's upbringing in a really big way uh, now that she's had that scare of possibly losing her mom. Um, so hopefully she can still come to the party tonight. Oh my gosh, what? Aurora is here. Okay, that's random. Why is Aurora here? Um, okay, well, I guess we'll get Sean to answer the door. This does make me uneasy because Sean is, I don't know, Sean's a creep, so, and flirty. 
So Aurora's probably come over thinking Kay was going to be here getting set up for the party and maybe because Kay's kind of becoming cooler online and more popular and doing really well. Aurora wouldn't mind being associated with that, seeing as that's what her parents have taught her. Oh my god, what? Sorry, why are they good friends all of a sudden? Good reputation? Um, what? Why are you guys like good friends? That's so weird. What? They're just really fond of each other. Okay, let's not forget that Aurora is underage and Sean is a young adult. So that's very weird that they're suddenly good friends. And I swear I did not do that. Ah, <sighs> support Aurora's acne. Oh no, he's feeling flatty. Stop. No. No, 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 no. Okay, I guess everyone's coming over to the party early. Ah, oh, that's crazy. Okay, the party's already started. Whoa, I love the outfit. Look how good Kay looks. I love all the white. Yes. Luna's coming. Who's messaging us? It's all happening. Missed the call. Maybe it was our parents. I don't know. All right, well, let's get this party started, even though it's early. Apparently, everyone's keen to come over already. Yeah, let's throw this Harvest Fest party. We could have a keg party? House party. I mean, a house party probably makes sense. Oh, we can't do a gold event during a holiday. But we need a gold event, don't we? Hmm. We're gonna have to cancel Harvest Fest. I'm sorry, but we have to do this. Oh my gosh, Caden, what is wrong with you? Caden's not dealing well with the breakup with Aurora, I don't think. Maybe Caden just like doesn't appreciate stuff as much because he's so rich. They can just buy a new bin. Okay, let's do a house party. We're both gonna host. Obviously, we're inviting Daniel, Aurora, Selena, Molly, Savannah. Oh, Savannah looks so pretty. Kaden, Tane should be invited because Kay's nice and Kay's good friends with Tane. So, like, everyone's invited, basically. Oh, not the principal, though. Are you a teenager? Samadhi, I think so. Oh my gosh, imagine the principal as the entertainer. No. Okay, we don't need catering or anything. We're gonna have it here. All right, let's get this party started. Tap the juice keg, put some tunes on. Oh my gosh, Daniel wants to go to the prom with us as friends. Why is it always as friends? Of course I wanna go, whatever. Oh, we can only listen to prom music on here. All right, prom music it is. Oh my gosh, look at this outfit. Savannah looks beautiful. <gasps> Oh my gosh, and I feel like Aurora's just looking at her like, uh, she looks better than me right now. I mean, Aurora looks cute for sure, but hey, what do you guys think? Savannah wins best dress tonight? All right, get the party started, everybody. Oh, Selena, yes, girl. Okay, Sean's gonna start the keg. Oh no, our, our other listing didn't really work. Vivian? What, we get money? Thanks, honey. Molly's here. Molly, why are you being mean to us? Okay, Kay looks amazing. Look at the crop top. Look at that. Is that not? And and like the boots, the whole look. The they look amazing. Oh, I forgot we have to like complete this goal. Okay. What are you guys eating? Capri salad. It's like a house party with Capri salad. Okay, I feel like Aurora is trying to dance with Kaden and Kaden's like, you broke up with me. Actually, no, we did break up with Aurora, but Aurora didn't really help the situation. Blake looks awesome, love the suit. Okay, we're chatting to Daniel. Daniel just always seems really sad. And I feel like he just moved away from us. Like, it, he's so uncomfortable with getting to know Kay publicly in front of everyone, I guess, because he's not really sure of his sexuality yet. Um, but maybe we can get Daniel to loosen up a bit. These two are dancing. I wonder how Selena's going. I mean, Selena's made it despite the tragedy. Uh, so I guess Selena's feeling okay, happy to be with her friends. And she's not like crazy dressed up. She looks more like herself, which is nice to see. So maybe she's backed off the glam look, especially since Aurora hasn't been very nice to her. Okay, we're just gonna tell some jerks. We need to tell two jerks. Um, okay, I'm gonna pretend I did not see that. <sighs> Sean, stop being a creep. Don't you have like adult friends to hang out with like Eloise? Oh, Selena changed outfits. Okay, maybe Selena's still a little unsure of how they how they want to dress because now they're in their cute girly jumper. Oh, damn, girl. 
Yes. This cool house body there. Oh, Kaden. Damn. I mean, Kay James. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know. I feel like Savannah is way cooler than Aurora. Molly actually looks really cute in this dress, this little outfit. Oh, Kaden's getting uh, Aurora to help them do a keg stand. These two, I don't understand why they're so close. Like, that's so weird. Okay, I really want to get to know Daniel a little bit more. Can we try a little bit of romance? Like, a little bit of flirting? Oh, Blake doesn't like Molly. Okay, these two should go somewhere a little bit more quiet. And actually, you know, flirt a little bit. Oh, these two are so cute. Probably one of the best looking couples you will ever see. Hey, who's Tane? Molly, like the two socially awkward Sims. Tane. Ah, uh, I love you, Tane, but come on. You gotta get out of the room. Also, gold medal for house party. Awesome, well done, everyone. Tane, leave. <laughs> Okay, I've literally locked Tane out. I'm sorry, Tane, but oh, 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 okay. Oh, okay, come on, you have to kiss. You have to kiss, this is the moment. Make a move, Kay, make a move. Oh, okay, I love this couple so much. Okay, they have to kiss now. This is it, this is it, right? No, go back to snuggling, no! I'm on the edge of my seat right now. Press kiss, come on. Oh, you're making up excuses, Kay. Oh my God, there's not enough room. There's not enough room for the first kiss. We gotta move this. Clean up your room, Kay. This is it, this is it, this is it. Yay! <gasps> the jock and the eccentric fashionista. Oh, Daniel looks so happy. Oh, that's so cute, that's so cute. I love these two so much. Did they just get a negative relationship? Oh, oh, we had a steamy exchange and we got closer at a fun party. Celebrations can bring Sims together literally and emotionally. The party's over, but Kaden still feels it's afterglow. Why is our relationship going down? Why is our relationship going down? Is that with Daniel? What is happening? I feel like our relationship's going down with someone else, but I'm not sure who. Oh, Well, these two are having a lovely time up here. I will unlock the door, just, you know, so they can leave if they would like to. Kaden has learned about Daniel's mess around interests. Okay, okay. What does that mean? How do we, do we know? I don't know what that means. Was that a no? I don't understand. Oh my gosh, everyone's left except for Tane. Oh, poor Tane. Oh, I should really get going now. He just, oh, he probably waited to say goodbye. Kaden's like, oh, it stinks in here. I'll clean up tomorrow. I mean, the house isn't really trashed or anything. There's just a few plates around. I think they had a good time. Oh, <gasps> Selena and Tane. Oh wait, no, 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 that's Selena and Daniel. Is Daniel leaving? Don't leave. No, Daniel's going home, okay. But Selena's still here? Oh my gosh, we're out in the rain doing our homework. Um, also, I'm pretty sure if we do anything, we're breaking curfew, oh no. Okay, should we maybe make a massive deal out of the fact that Kaden and Daniel got together? Did you guys get together? Maybe, <laughs> maybe. Oh my gosh, well, I better get home. My mom's gonna kill me, so. But congratulations. You drama llama, you. Okay, it looks like we got home and our mom is waiting for us. Is our mom gonna get angry? I just need to escape this family. We're still feeling stressed about family. <gasps> Discipline recent behavior, strictly yell at. Firmly tell not to break curfew again. You've broken curfew again, Selena. And after everything that's happened recently, I mean, it's hard because everyone was at the party and Selena just wanted to make a big deal with Kaden, how exciting it was. Oh no, there's peepee -pee on the floor. How exciting it was that Kaden got to like hook up with Daniel. So it's not like Selena's being bad, but I do feel like we need to maybe go back to being goal oriented. You know, maybe the health scares helped Selena get a little bit back on track and no longer want to be a popular girl. Ooh, ooh, okay. I'm glad that we changed aspiration because look, we're up to the next level. 
Reach level three of an after school activity. What's that after school activity? Oh, we're a casual streamer. Is that enough? Does that is that considered after school activity? I mean, the idea was we were gonna make some money that way. I mean, let's maybe, because we're in a good mood. Let's just go to the bubble tea cafe because I think there's a computer there, isn't there? Or maybe there's not. Maybe we need to go to the library. Actually, can we go straight to the school? I don't know, we'll go to the library. Have you guys ever been to the library at 6 a.m.? Cause that's wild. I'll just do a cheeky live stream quickly. Oh no, dang it. Why did the live stream longer? Yeah, I'm just gonna do a quick live stream from school. I feel like the school would not be impressed if they found out we were live streaming on school premises. But we're only trying to, to just make some money. Also, we're missing class as well. Okay, we can't do this. Oh, but the stream's almost finished. Okay. Oh, we got four followers. We're a bit late to class, but we're here, okay? Three minutes before the end. Oopsie doopsies. Okay, we need to do some study for exam because I'm pretty sure we have exams soon. Aw, oh, Tane. I feel like Selena and Tane should be together because Ko is still interested in Aurora and Selena at the same time. And that's just not good enough. Even if Tane is shy, at least Tane only has his eyes on one girl, you know? Oh, it's Savannah, hey. Okay, we do have an exam soon. Why are you sad from feeling hurt by someone? What? What? From who? Feeling untrustworthy cost cuts deep? Okay, the only sentiment I can find is that we feel deeply, deeply connected to Tane, okay? Both of them feel that connection. And if we go to Koa, actually, is there anything? No sentiments with Aurora. We have no sentiments with Koa. See, it's shallow. <laughs> and she feels impressed by Caden. Caden sure knows what he is doing and Selena has nothing but respect. I feel like everyone feels that way about Caden. So I don't know who's doing us wrong. Oh, what? We were in class. Excuse me, we just had to use the bathroom. That's so rude. Did we miss the exam accidentally? We have to go to detention, seriously? Looks like everyone's in detention. I know, I feel bad for Selena because I feel like she is trying really hard. Like she is trying to make money. She's trying to do the best she can. She's not focusing on being popular anymore since Aurora became kind of mean to her and just moved away from her. And also she can't date Koa, so she's like, oh. And then her mom had the tragic thing happen, near death experience. So I feel like she's trying to do better. Like she wants to be a good student, but it's just not working out. And now she's gonna make her look bad. Okay, I feel like maybe we can find more out in Social Bunny with someone mean to us here. <gasps> Daniel said not even a cow plant wants to be around you, Selena. Is that who upset us? Oh my gosh, yeah, that's why we're sad because Daniel was mean to us. Well, Daniel can be a little bit mean sometimes. I think he he's a nice person deep down, but he has a lot of like family struggles. So there's a lot of pressure on him. And I think he probably knows his dad may be judgmental about him being with Kay James. And maybe now he's lashing out at other people to make himself feel better. Selena feels creeped out. Oh, hold on. Selena is creeped out by Daniel because she didn't think Daniel was at the level of best friends yet. Maybe some space will help. And then Daniel feels like Selena turned him down. Interesting. Well, maybe he's trying to get closer to Caden's friends. I don't know. Let's work from home. <gasps> Curfew is about to start. If you don't go home, then you'll get in trouble. But we have work, mom. Oh, curfew is so annoying. Hey, Grandpa Manu. Oh, no. We're gonna... Oh, Ollie's all sick. Poor thing. Oh, my God. We're so tired as well. We're gonna clean up because we're a good Selena, aren't we? Okay, we need to upload a business headshot by taking a photo with the camera on the phone and then clicking on the inventory object. Hold on, before we go to bed, we can do this. Okay, we'll just take a selfie real quick. Gorgeous. That's cute. I like this. That's such a cute picture. Upload business headshot. Oh, we need to take the cat to the vet. Okay, I'm just gonna take the cat to the vet clinic because we can't have a sick cat, okay? Oh my gosh, we've still got the tombstone there too. I better get rid of that. <laughs> Awkward. All right, Ollie, let's get you all fixed up. Oh, Mama and Misha will look after you. Love the little hat. It's gorgeous look for a vet. Here we get the basic treatment because we're not rolling in cash, all right? And you still look adorable, little Ollie. 
Good boy. Oh, he's got his little hat on. He looks so sad. I have to say, I actually really love this house. Like, it looks believable to me that it's kind of a bit old and they've done what they could to kind of do it up and make it look nice. And I just really like it. It looks really cool. All right, so we're pretty, pretty much set to level up in our job. We also need to get a high school A. I mean, this is hard, you guys. We have to do really well. And I think I flunked our exams accidentally. Okay, we've done our homework. We need to attend a career day. So we're basically doing everything we can for this aspiration. And I think Selena's also gonna try a lot harder around the house to fix things. Oh, well, Grandpa Manu, I was trying to fix the toilet. He's like, don't worry, I'll do that. I just jumped back to Aurora's household and look at her mom. Like, oh my God, this is, this is a look. Even just how she's standing right now, the socks, the shoes, the tights, the whole thing is just, it's a lot. Holly Ashcroft just loves it. <laughs> oh no, she's gonna go practice football with Daniel. That's so embarrassing. Daniel's like walking away from her. He's like, I don't want, I don't want to see you. Okay, Brett's got an interesting outfit on as well. So it's really interesting because Aurora actually does have a fear of failure, which makes total sense with parents who put way too much pressure on her. But she also has a fear of crowded places. So I feel like she probably has a lot of anxiety as well and a fear of unfulfilled dreams. So the poor thing's really actually struggling a lot more than, um, I thought she was. I'm gonna apply a facial cleanser and she just looks really sad. She's feeling hurt by someone. She has a crush on Kate and Koa and Sean. She really dislikes Blake and Molly. Oh my gosh, Sean messaged us, Aurora, what's up buddy? That is so wrong because Sean is very inappropriately preying on a young woman. And I think that's really gross. And she's like, hey, bestie, hope you're having an excellent day, which is really uncomfortable because clearly she's vulnerable. And the fact that an older guy who might appear as stable because he's older is interested in her, that's just really, really bad. And she's like, hope you're having an excellent day. Uh, I do not know what to do with that. That's just very uncomfortable. Aww, hugging her bro. Sarah, I heard that you and Kay James were upstairs together. What was with that? Tell me everything. Uh, I don't know. Just hanging out, you know? You got whatever you totally hooked up to. I'm so excited for you. Aurora would love it. Like, she'd be all for it. Sarah, I think that would be giving Daniel a little bit of, a little bit more confidence. Sometimes I get so angry that I don't know what to do with myself. How can I deal with things when I can't even? Whoa, poor Aurora, do a workout. Brett said to deal with her anger to do a workout. That is such a Brett thing to say. Do a workout, you'll feel so much better. That's how we deal with our emotions. <gasps> Holly has learned Brett's woohoo interest. What does that mean? What does that mean? How do we, what does that mean? What are Brett's woohoo interests? Why is it, it doesn't say anywhere, does it? How do we know? Oh, so Brett woohoo's both women and men. So Brett is actually bi. Interesting. Oh, and they are actually sweethearts, which is nice. Maybe we should invite Kay James out somewhere. It's a Saturday. We can go out. Let's go get a bubble tea. Oh my gosh, their romance is so high now. They barely knew each other, but it looks like at the party they got to know each other real well. Oh, look at these two. Okay, so we've learned a little bit more about Kaden. Kaden's orientation likes to mess around with men. And Daniel has a crush, obviously, and is very impressed by Kaden. A lot of Sims are impressed by Kaden. They're closer after a fun party and feeling deeply connected. Oh, that's nice. Well, you guys, I might leave this part right here. I think we've ended on a really nice note. Let me know in the comments down below uh, what you want to happen next. And as always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I look forward to speaking to you all soon. Bye, bye.